So I typically don't just mindlessly surf the web. Instead, I have one go-to source where I get content that's filtered according to my interests and my friends. Yep, you guessed it, it's Facebook. I never knew that Facebook would become my primary source for news and content about, well, just about everything. I thought it would just be a place where I could keep track of my friends' lives, but it's really become much more. The thing that surprised me about Facebook is how my friends have become content aggregators. Instead of posting baby photos and shots of what they had for lunch, no thanks anyway, they're finding content they run across either from other friends on Facebook or content they find online and then share. I just want to filter what's in front of me if I'm going to spend t the time to engage with it. So here's what I found on Facebook that inspires me, feeds my passions, are oddities and surprises. Most of my friends will post memes meant to be thought-provoking or uplifting. I personally appreciate being given the opportunity to reflect on my life and make sure I'm making the right choices. This meme may seem a little superficial, but it's really about making sure you live life to the fullest. I'm not a blog follower. It always just turns into going down the rabbit hole for me. But if a friend posts an article from a respected source like Bill Moyers, I will tend to read it. Voices of reason are getting harder to find, and articles like this one on the media's role in the past election really resonated with me. As far as passion, competitive rowing or sculling has been a passion of mine for the past 17 years. Rowing Magazine's presence on Facebook keeps me up to date on what's going on in the rowing world. Another passion of mine is working in the fiber arts of spinning and weaving. Small communities like this are invaluable when you have a question on a project. The members are incredibly willing to help. I follow a group on Facebook called Living Off the Grid. Its website is offgridquest.com, and I'm typically surprised by what I find there. Recently, I ran across this article on a 20-foot shipping container home. My significant other and I are always looking at alternative sources, from housing to generating electricity. I've seen this video shared by a few friends. I'm just so in awe of someone who is that comfortable in their own skin. Watching him is pure joy, and it was a real pleasure to run across this video. Maybe this is an oddity, maybe it isn't. I just, it struck me as odd, though, to see that the Aurora Police Department was standing with Denver PD in refusing to enforce Trump's immigration policies. I only hope they can hold out. And this last post did give me pause for thought. I don't think most people are aware that they do live in a bubble, or at least grew up in one. I found it really informative to take this quiz. So this is my world through the lens of Facebook. I don't spend 100% of my time online. There's too much to do and enjoy in life. But if I am going to see what's going on, this is typically where I go. I touch base with friends and see what's meaningful to them.